Can I beat Pokemon Fire Red with only water types found on land? I woke up, took a shit, and got out of bed. The first thing I did was get the potion out of the PC, and then I went to get my first Pokemon, and of course, I chose Squirtle. I couldn't do this without him. My rival Kaz chose Bulbasaur, and after the tutorial, I went to get Oak's parcel. I also decided to do some training while I was at it. I named my Squirtle Leo, after Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Leo was going to need some training if he was going to be my only Pokemon for a while. After getting Leo to level 12, I returned Oak's parcel and got my Pokedex. After getting the Pokedex, I went to Route 22 to battle Kaz. Kaz's first Pokemon was a level 9 Pidgey. Leo used Withdraw three times to boost his defense, and Pidgey used Tackle, but it only did three damage. Leo used Bubble, and it did some damage, but Pidgey retaliated with Sand Attack. Leo used Tackle, but missed Pidgey, and Pidgey used Tackle. Leo retaliated with his own attack, putting Pidgey in the yellow. Pidgey used Tackle again, but it barely does anything, and with two more Tackles, Pidgey went down. Now all that was left was Bulbasaur. Leo's first attack missed, luckily. Bulbasaur isn't going to do a lot of damage. Leo's next attack hits, but so does Bulbasaur's. Leo gets a good hit in, putting Bulbasaur at half health, and with three more tackles, Bulbasaur fell. Now with Kaz out of the way, I was off to Brock's gym. Brock's first Pokemon was Geodude, but Leo took him out with one water gun. Next up was Onix. Onix used Bind, but missed, allowing Leo to take him out with one water gun. After beating Brock, I got the running shoes and made my way to Mount Moon. While on the way to Mount Moon, Leo evolved into War Turtle. When I made it to Mount Moon, I made the best deal ever and got a Magikarp for only 500 Poké Dollars. After making my way through Mount Moon, I fought a Super Nerd, but almost all his Pokémon went down in one hit. And after beating him, I took the Helix Fossil and made my way to Cerulean City. While in Cerulean City, I ran into Kaz and had another battle. Kaz led with Pidgeotto and I switched in Leo. Pidgeotto used Sand Attack and Leo used Withdraw. Then Pidgeotto used Gust. Leo used Withdraw four more times before using Water Gun and taking out Pidgeotto with two bites. Next up was Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur used Sleep Powder, but Leo woke up and got a crit bite. Bulbasaur used Sleep Powder again, and then used Vine Whip. Luckily, Leo woke up and finished off Bulbasaur with a bite. Next up was Abra, who went down in one bite. Now all that was left was Rattata. Rattata used Tackle and left Leo on 9 HP, but Leo put Rattata in the red with one bite. But Rattata used Tackle and Quick Attack to take out Leo. Now all I had left was Nemo, the Magikarp, and with one mighty tackle, I had won. I had beaten my rival with a Magikarp. After beating my rival, I made my way to Bill's house to get the SS ticket. After helping Bill, Nemo evolved into Gyarados, and with that, I was ready to take on Misty. Misty led with Staryu, and I led with Nemo. Nemo was able to get off two bites, but Staryu used Recovery. Again, Nemo used Bite, and Staryu used Water Pulse. Before I could finish off Staryu, Misty used a Super Potion. Nemo used Bite two more times, and again, Staryu used Recovery. But Nemo took out Staryu with two more bites, and now all that was left was Starmie. Starmie used Swift, but Nemo used Bite and did a bit of damage, and with two more bites, the second gym badge was mine. Two down, six to go. After beating Misty, I made my way to Vermilion City to get on the SS Anne. After boarding the SS Anne, I battled every trainer I could find. I was going to need all the XP I could get if I was going to battle Lieutenant Surge. After getting Nemo to level 25 and Leo to level 30, I was ready to take on my rival. The battle started and Cass sent out Pidgeotto, and I sent out Nemo. Nemo started off by using Dragon Rage which did a lot of damage. Pidgeotto then used Gust, but went down to Bite the next turn. Next up was Raticade. Nemo used Bite, which caused Raticade to flinch, allowing Nemo to use Bite again, killing Raticade. After that was Kadabra, who went down to a super effective Bite. Now all that was left was Ivysaur. Nemo used Bite, 
but it didn't do a lot. Then Ivysaur used Sleep Powder and Leech Seed before Nemo woke up and used Dragon Rage. Ivysaur used Vine Whip, but one more Dragon Rage and the battle was over. I got the HM cut and was ready for Lieutenant Surge. It was time to take on Lieutenant Surge. I think I trained a bit too much because Lieutenant Surge's Voltorb and Pikachu went down to one dig. Unfortunately, his Raichu did not. Before Leo could use Dig, Raichu used Shockwave, putting Leo on half health. Dick did a lot of damage, but Leo was paralyzed, and Lieutenant Surge used a Super Potion. Leo was able to use Dig again, putting Raichu in the red, but was taken out by another Shockwave. I sent out Nemo, and, and with one Dragon Rage, the fight was over. Three badges down, five to go. After making it out of Rock Tunnel, I made my way to Celadon City. On the way to Celadon, Leo evolved into Blastoise. After making it to Cerulean, I got a free Pokemon from the back of a building. Then I went to the department store and got a Water Stone, and then used it, adding V, the Vaporeon, to the team. After getting V, I was ready to take on Team Rocket. After making my way through the Rocket hideout, I was ready for Giovanni. The fight with Giovanni was easy. Both his Onyx and Rhydon died to one Water Pulse, and his last Pokemon was Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan used Fake Out, but it didn't do much, and Nemo used Water Pulse, which only did a little better, but two Dragon Rages and a Bite took out Kangaskhan. After beating Giovanni, I decided to do the fourth gym while I was still in Cerulean, so I spent a few minutes in the game corner getting coins to buy Flamethrower. Erica was easy thanks to Flamethrower. Erica's Victory Bell and Tangela both went down in one Flamethrower. Erica's last Pokemon was Vioplume. Nemo used Flamethrower and did a lot of damage, and Erica used Stun Spore and then used a Hyper Potion. But two more flamethrowers took it out. Four badges down, four to go. After beating Erica, I went to the Pokemon Tower to get the Pokeflu. In the tower, I fought my rival Kaz. Kaz started off with Pidgeotto, and I started off with Nemo. Nemo used Flamethrower and did a lot of damage. Pidgeotto used Gust, but it didn't do much, and Pidgeotto went down the next turn to bite. Next up was Gyarados, who went down into Dragon Rages. But Kaz was able to use Thrash before dying. After that, all of Kaz's Pokemon went down to one hit. After beating my rival and kicking Team Rocket out of the Pokemon Tower, Mr. Fuji gave me the Pokeflu. After getting the Pokeflu, I made my way to Saffron City to get Team Rocket out of Silphco. While in Silphco, I encountered my rival Kaz, who wanted to battle. Kaz led with Pidgeot, and I led with V. Pidgeot used Wing Attack, and it did a bit of damage and V used Aurora Beam, putting Pidgeot at half health. Pidgeot used Wing Attack again, putting V at half health, but one more Aurora Beam, and Pidgeot was down. Next up was Venusaur, so I switched in Nemo and used Flamethrower, which did less damage than I wanted it to. Venusaur then used Poison Powder, and Nemo used Flamethrower again. Venusaur used Razor Leaf and did less damage than I thought it would do. Nemo used Flamethrower, leaving Venusaur with barely any health left. Nemo took another Razor Leaf, but went down to Poison, so I switched in V and finished off Venusaur with Quick Attack. Next up was Gyarados. Gyarados used Bite, but it barely did any damage to V. V used Aurora Beam, but it did less damage than I wanted it to. Gyarados used Bite, causing V to flinch, allowing Gyarados to use Dragon Rage, putting V at 12 HP. V then used Bite and Quick Attack, before Gyarados took him out with Dragon Rage. Now all that was left was Leo. Leo tried Dig, but it didn't affect Gyarados. Gyarados used Dragon Rage, and it did a lot of damage. Leo used Bite, causing Gyarados to flinch. Leo used Bite again, and Gyarados flinched again. And it happened a third time. What are the odds of that? After Gyarados was Growlithe, who went down to two Water Guns, but not before using Fake Out. Kaz's last Pokemon was Alakazam. Leo did a bit of damage with Bite and took out Alakazam with a critical the next turn. After beating Kaz, I got a free Lapras and named it Nami. And after some training, I was ready for my fight with Giovanni. Next up was my rematch with Giovanni. Giovanni led with Nidorino and I led with Nemo. Nemo used Water Pulse and Nidorino used Fury Attack, which only did 8 damage. Nemo then used Dragon Rage and Nidorino used Horn Attack. And with one more Water Pulse, Nidorino was down. Next up was Rhydon, so I switched in Leo 
and one shot him with water gun. After that was Kangaskhan, so I switched back to Nemo and used Dragon Rage. And Kangaskhan used Rage, then Nemo used Flamethrower, Kangaskhan used Rage again, and Nemo used Bite. And Kangaskhan then used Mega Punch. And with two more water pulses, I killed a single mother. Now all that was left was Nido Queen. So I sent in Leo and used Water Gun. Nido Queen used Double Kick and Leo used Water Gun again. And again, Nido Queen used Double Kick. And with two more water pulses, I beat Giovanni. After beating Giovanni, I decided to fight Sabrina while I was still in Saffron City. Sabrina led with Kadabra, and I led with Nami. Nami used Body Slam, one shot in Kadabra. And next up was Mr. Mime. Nami used Body Slam, then Psychic. Mr. Mime used Future Sight, then he used Baton Pass, and out came Venomoth. But Nami took it out in two Ice Beams. Mr. Mime came back and used Psy Beam. Nami used Body Slam, but Sabrina used a Potion. Mr. Mime then used Psy Beam, but Nami used Body Slam, taking out Mr. Mime. Now all that was left was Alakazam. Alakazam used Psychic and took out Nami, so I sent in V and used Bite. Alakazam used Psychic, putting V at half health, and V used Bite again. Alakazam used Psychic and took out V. So next up was Nemo. Alakazam used Psychic and took out most of Nemo's health, and Nemo used Bite, but Sabrina used a potion and took out Nemo. The next turn, now all that was left was Leo. Leo used Dig, and Alakazam used Psychic, putting Leo on 10 HP. But one more Dig won me the battle. Five badges down, three to go. The next gym leader was Koga, who led with a Coughing, and I led with Nemo, and took out Coughing in two Flamethrowers. Next up was Muck, and this part went on for a while, so I'll make it quick. Muck boosts his defense and evasion, and poisons me to stall me out. Muck managed to take out Leo and Nemo before Nami was able to finish him off. Now it was time for another coughing, but Nami took it out in one psychic. Now all that was left was wheezing. Nami was able to use psychic before being taken out. Now it was all up to V. V uses Bite, leaving coughing with barely any HP, but then Koga used a potion, but I was barely able to win with a few more Bites and an Aurora Beam. Six badges down, two to go, and with that I made my way to the Cinnabar Islands. After getting to Cinnabar Island, I went to the Pokemon Lab and got my last Pokemon, Lord Helix. After getting the key, I went to the gym. The next gym leader was Blaine. Blaine led with Growlithe, and I led with Leo. I set up Rain Dance to boost my attacks. Growlithe used Fire Blast, but it didn't do much. Leo used Water Gun and one-shot Growlithe and Ponyta. Next up was Rapidash, who took two Water Guns to go down, but it was able to use Stomp. All that was left was Arcanine. I had to set up Rain Dance again, and Arcanine used Fire Blast, and Leo one-shot Arcanine. Seven badges down, one to go. The last gym leader was Giovanni, who led with Rhyhorn, and I led with Leo. I set up Brain Dance and one shot Rhyhorn and Dugdrio, although Leo did get hit with Earthquake. Next up was Nido Queen. Leo was able to take her out, but not without being hit by Earthquake two more times. After that was Nido King, who took out Leo. So I sent in Nemo and killed Nido King in two surfs. Now all that was left was another Rhyhorn who I one-shot with Surf. On my way to the Elite Four, I ran into Kaz, who wanted to battle. Kaz led with Pidgeot, and I led with Nami. Pidgeot used Wing Attack, and Nami used Rain Dance. After another Wing Attack, Nami used Ice Beam. After another Wing Attack, Nami killed Pidgeot with another Ice Beam. Next up was Rhyhorn, so I switched in Nemo, and one-shot it with Surf. Kaz's next Pokemon was Gyarados, and I misclicked and used Flamethrower, burning Gyarados. After taking a Hydro Pump, Nemo used Thunderbolt, and, and Gyarados went down to burn damage. After that was Growlithe. After drowning Old Yeller, I had to take on Alakazam, 
So I switched to NV and used Quick Attack and two more bites. Now all that was left was Venusaur, so I sent in Nemo and used Flamethrower until Nemo died, and I sent in Lord Helix to revive Nemo and kill Venusaur. For the record, I don't like doing that, but I only had one whiteout, and I didn't want another one. On Victory Road, I did some training and evolved Lord Helix. After some more training, I was ready for the Elite Four. Loreline's first Pokemon was Dugong, and mine was Nemo. Dugong went down to three Thunderbolts, and her next Pokemon was Cloyster. Cloyster went down in one Surf and a Thunderbolt, after Loreline used a full Restore. Next up was Slowbro. Slowbro used Ice Beam, but went down in three Thunderbolts. After that was Jinx. Nemo used Flamethrower, and Jinx used Lovely Kiss to put Nemo to sleep, and killed him with two Ice Punches. So I sent in Leo and killed Jinx in two bites. Now all that was left was Lapras. Leo used Dig, and Lapras used Confuse Ray and Body Slam twice, paralyzing Leo. Lapras used Body Slam again, and Leo used Bite before being taken out by Surf. I'm going to be honest, after that, I lost most of my Pokemon, so I kept reviving Nemo until Lapras died. I hate doing that, but I spent six hours leveling up on Victory Road, and I couldn't go back to it. Next up was Bruno. Bruno's first Pokemon was Onyx, and mine was Leo. Leo set up Rain Dance and killed Onyx with one water gun. Next up was Hitmonchan, so I switched in Nami. After taking a Sky Uppercut, Nami used Psychic but failed to kill and was taken out with a Mock Punch. I sent in Leo and almost killed Hitmonchan, but Bruno used a full restore. But Leo was able to take out Hitmonchan with a few digs but not without taking some serious damage. Next up was Hitmonlee, so I sent in Lord Helix. Lord Helix used Toxic to poison Hitmonlee before being taken out. After that, I sent in Nemo and used Dragon Rage. Nemo almost went down to a Mega Kick, but Hitmonlee went down with one more Dragon Rage and Poison. After that was my champ. Nemo used Dragon Rage, but it didn't do much. After Nemo died, I sent in V and used Aurora Beam. After that, I used Bite, but it did nothing. V was able to get Hitmonchamp to low yellow with Aurora Beam before dying. Now all I had left was Leo on 2 HP. I took a risk and used Dig, hoping to kill Hitmonchamp, and it worked. Hitmonchamp died, and all that was left was Onyx. I used a full restore on Leo just in case, and one shot Onyx with Water Gun. Agatha's first Pokemon was Gengar, and mine was Leo. Leo used Bite, putting Gengar at half health. Gengar used Double Team and Toxic. After a few attempts, I was finally able to bite Gengar, and one more attack would kill it. But Agatha healed Gengar, and Leo died to poison, so I sent in Lord Helix. Gengar used Confuse Ray, but Lord Helix snapped out of it, and killed Gengar in three bites. Next up was Golbat, so I switched in Nami. Golbat used Confuse Ray, but Nami killed Golbat with two Psychics. After that was Arbok. Arbok used Sludge Bomb, and Nami put it at half health with Psychic before dying. After that I sent in Nemo, and killed Arbok with Flamethrower and Dragon Rage. Next up was another Gengar, and Nemo used Dragon Rage before being put to sleep by Gengar's Hypnosis. After that, I switched in V and used Bite, but not without taking a lot of damage. V went down the next turn, so I sent in Lord Helix and almost killed Gengar, but Agatha used a full restore. Lord Helix used Bite, but Gengar used Hypnosis. Luckily, Lord Helix woke up, and with two more bites, Gengar died. Now all that was left is Haunter, who went down to two bites. Lance's first Pokemon was Gyarados, and mine was Nemo. 
Lance's Gyarados went down in two Thunderbolts. Next up was Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl used HM Power and almost killed Nemo. Nemo used Surf before dying on the next turn. After that, I sent in Leo and used Rain Dance and Water Gun before dying to a Hyper Beam. Next, I sent out Lord Helix and killed Aerodactyl with Surf. Next up was Dragonair, so I sent in V and killed both Dragonairs with Aurora Beam. Now, all that was left was Dragonite. Dragonite used Wing Attack, and V used Aurora Beam, before going down the next turn. After that, I sent in Nami, and used Ice Beam to kill Dragonite. Now there was only one fight left, and it was against Kaz. Kaz's first Pokemon was Pidgeot, and mine was Lord Helix. Lord Helix used Toxic, and Pidgeot used Aerial Ace, twice. And Lord Helix used Spike Cannon. I almost killed Pidgeot, but Kaz healed with a full restore, but eventually I killed it, with a combo of Surf and Poison. Next up was Rhyhorn, so I sent in Leo and killed it with two Water Guns. Next up was Venusaur, so I sent in Nemo and used Flamethrower and Dragon Rage. And one more Flamethrower before Nemo died to a Solar Beam. And I sent in Leo and used Dig, but Leo also died to a Solar Beam. After that, I sent in Nami and killed Venusaur with Ice Beam. Next up was Alakazam, so I sent in Lord Helix, who immediately died to Psychic. But V was able to use Bite before dying, so I once again kept healing until I saw an opening and killed Alakazam with two Dragon Rages from Nemo. Next up was Gyarados. Nemo used Thunderbolt and put Gyarados at half health before dying to a Thrash. After that, I sent in Nami so I could heal Nemo and kill Gyarados with Thunderbolt. Next up was Arcanine. Arcanine used Extreme Speed and put Nemo in the red. Nemo used Surf and did half damage before Nemo died, and I healed Nami. Arcanine used Flamethrower and gave me a scare, so I healed Nemo, and after Nami died, I used Surf to kill Arcanine. And with that, I beat Pokemon Fire Red with only water types found on land, and it only took me 25 hours.